There are many different things that come into drawing a tree. Most of us will start out drawing lollipop trees. They look like a little kid did them, but there's a lot of tricks to make them look more realistic. So let's get started. What happens when you have a tree trunk shape, let's still use the brown as the base color. It starts to wobble off to the side a bit. It's got different shapes. The branches coming off of it. It goes at an angle. The wind blows this way. It has some roots. The roots branch. It's got a shape to it. The branches branch. The main trunk comes up a bit. Let's make one branch fatter than the other one. And let's have it branch again up here. This is starting to look more like an oak. Let's let's make it an oak. Let's make give it the long, jagged branches that come down. All oaks will do this. They'll be wider than they are tall, which is good because we got a short piece of paper here. They'll have different branches. They may have some sky holes coming in. I'm leaving gaps purposely. because I know I'm going to fill them in with clumps of foliage. Now, I think that trunk looks good. However, it's pretty dull looking. It doesn't look like a real tree at all. We can decide where the sun's coming from and darken the shadow side. We're going to make this the shadow side. Notice that I'm grooving the trunk, putting shadows in loosely, on the underside and more to the left, more to the right than the left. And it's starting to look a little truer. Left side, left side, left side, left side, left side. A little bit truer now. But of course it doesn't look like much without much foliage. What happens if we bring some blue? in over the brown. It starts looking a lot nicer. Well, I might use a light wash on this after all. It's coming out pretty loose. But you can see already I'm getting a stronger effect on this tree trunk. Now here's the fun part. Shadows of the foliage clumps. I tend to sketch the foliage clumps in as separate three-dimensional chunks. Try to keep them from being too regular. This one is because it just happened to be. But let's bring that down a bit. I'm actually describing almost cloud-like shapes here. There we go. And we'll get another shadow here. It'll be more shadows on the other side. I'm not even using green yet. I'm using blue. That's because green is made up of blue and yellow together, blue and gold, blue and brown for the deep darks. And uh, you're going to have clumps tree showing behind others. Some of them may be entirely shadowed by other clumps that are over here. And they're going to mostly cover a lot of the shape of the space. Now, here we go. We have some coming behind the branches that show. We have some showing in front of the branches that show. We've obscured a few branches. And we're going to do that other beautiful colorist thing. Take the yellow and highlight the trunk with some nice morning sun. I'm making this video at 8.30 in the morning, and the world looks this way, except that I've got the direction of the light coming more like it's afternoon sun. In real world, in my world, it comes from the left in the late afternoon, and it comes from the right at night in the, after in the morning. I'm now going to just sketch in the highlighted areas of the tree using the yellow. 
before I add anything else. Now I'm just blocking in shapes here. Notice that I'm not even trying for a texture yet. I'm just doing the foliage in yellow and blue. They mix a bit where I overlap them, and that's fine. It's good they're doing that. We'll just let them go on doing that. And we'll put more texture into this later. Get a little bit of light showing behind it. Very nice. Okay, now we have a beautiful blue and yellow tree. This is the colorist treatment. We'll bring in some green over this. Now I'm using more like pointillist dots. I'm actually scribbling. The green is mixing the blue and yellow and making it much greener. Go right out to the edge of the yellow area, because I don't think in the shadow side I want any of the actual yellow showing as yellow, even if that is a highlight. But you can see the parts with blue under them are considerably darker. And the shapes of the foliage masses are looking a lot better than they did in our lollipop tree. And the green varies more compared between these. It's also stronger, but what happens when we add foliage texture over here on this guy? It still looks a lot livelier over here than on this guy. Now you can actually do this with Crayola crayons too. If you don't have the expensive project stuff and you want to try drawing a tree like this, the only difference is your Crayolas are going to be very transparent. Other oil pastels are a better bet, and they're so cheap you can get a good 60 color set for only 5 bucks or so if you get low Cornell, or 50 colors for 5 bucks with Pentel. So don't let supply stop you. And a little, little of the yellow show here, just by dotting it looser. And then have some mid-tone greens here. We have a nice lovely, natural looking green. Tap the pan and sweep the crumbs off the table because we have generated a few crumbs.